Greetings everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of Anavara. I'm Bhuvana. Today we have here with us Sharan Mangera. Hello Sharan. Welcome. Um, before hi. We start, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, before we start our conversation, let me tell you all uh, a little about Sharan. Uh, so Sharan is an artist. He is passionate about art. That is pencil sketching, color pencil works and painting to be precise. He has been uh, into sketching since his childhood. Uh, he did his schooling at New Cambridge High School and his PUC uh, in Bunts, Sangha, RMS and got his BBA degree from RMS First Grade College. He has got so many college and inter-college awards and has been recognized for his art. In seventh grade, uh, he participated in national level competition and got awarded with Balakala Ratna Award. That's amazing. Um, welcome to our show. So we can now start uh, with a few questions that I have for you today. Um, so what motivated you to take up sketching as a part-time job? Uh, I've been, as I said, I've been always fascinated with uh, art ever since my uh, childhood. And uh, the every, every uh, shape, uh, every other thing that I see, uh, uh, has motivated my art and uh, it's been like when I see something beautiful I just wanted to recreate that on uh, on a piece of paper and uh, uh, yeah yeah create it on my own uh, so uh, I've been fascinated with art in that way and I always wanted to get a career uh, a job in, uh, in my art so uh, doing this as a freelancer and uh, previously I, I used to teach kids uh, art. I used to be an art teacher at uh, two different institutes, and uh, that that was a great experience. And uh, now I'm a full-time freelancer. I uh, actually uh, completed my graduation, and uh, I'm as of now I'm doing this as a full-time. I'm, I'm actually looking for uh, the job also, but uh, currently I'm doing this as a full-time, and it, it's been great so far. I, I'm able to uh, sustain my the earning I get through this, and uh, it's not the, it's not just the earning that motivates me. It's mainly uh, something that I love to do. Uh, it, it's a great feeling when you can earn through something uh, you love by uh, by through your heart. Right. And uh, that's, that's great. That, that yeah. how, how much you love art, actually. Um, so, do you feel yeah. that is more of a natural talent as compared to something that can be acquired? It is natural, but uh, it, it is acquired. It can be acquired also with a lot of uh, practice. And uh, the main mantra is practice. Right. So, practice and persistence. Right. So, uh, you can always you can always acquire any any form of art. Uh, to be honest, but for me it was like uh, I was born with this talent. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it came naturally. Sometimes, uh, you know, you are destined. Uh, I feel like I was destined to do this. Um, so, what motivated you to take up sketching as a part-time job? Okay. So, uh, as part-time job, firstly, I'll, I'll tell about what motivated me to take up uh, art. Maybe uh, being interested in art. Right. So, uh, <laughs> I've been uh, fascinated by art since my Ever since I can remember, I, I, I was like, I used to draw ever since childhood and uh, it's been a passion. Uh, I, I've always been fascinated by the uh, shapes and structures that we see in our everyday lives. Uh, whenever I see something beautiful, I, I just wanted to like uh, recreate it on a piece of paper and uh, create it on my own. That's that's basically the motivation and, uh, and the learning that we get out of it. Uh, we can like every time I do something, I can learn something new, something uh, something different about the art, and uh, it's a great experience. And I've always wanted to get a job and something that I uh, that I like, that I love so much. So uh, being a freelance uh, freelance artist has uh, fulfilled this dream, this destiny that I uh, like to think of it as. I I think I was destined to. Um, take up art as a main thing in my life. Uh, even though I have done, a, uh, I have I'm a graduate in BBA, 
uh, in bachelor's and business administration uh, i think art is what has me uh, what keeps me interested still so uh, I, i am looking for a job and, but i have not been serious about it much uh, and uh, as of now being a uh, uh, being a freelance artist is like uh, uh, is sufficient to uh sustain my daily life but it's not the earning that i uh, appreciate out of it it's uh, it's like uh something i love to do uh, uh being able to earn in something you, you love to do is uh is something great <laughs> i feel it's it fulfills uh, it fulfills my uh, uh desire to do what i love every on a every day thing as a every day thing and i've been i've also been a teacher uh i used to teach uh, children in uh, uh, art and sketching in two different institutes um and uh, i don't do that anymore but uh, as of now i'm a freelance artist okay. um awesome so do you feel sketching is more of a natural talent as compared to something that can be acquired yes um and as yes and no actually uh, actually any 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 kind of art can be acquired by uh, an of practice and persistence that's the mantra actually to get to that anything i i uh, got good at sketching like this every day it's been like uh, i don't remember a day i spent without uh, sketching it's, it's really when i'm like totally out of out some things uh, some, uh, out of some uh, something like that but for me it's been like uh it is kind of a born talent uh i <laughs> i've always been interested in this i don't know how and uh, it's not like <laughs> it came genetically or something uh it, it's like i was destined to do this and uh, uh yeah yeah i i, I didn't like uh, learn learn it from anywhere also i didn't go to any classes for this uh, it's totally a, a self learn thing and uh, um, Uh, being able to like just try and uh, get something so good that <laughs> you impress yourself mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, yeah you just naturally yeah, so, came to you and you've always been really good at this so that helped right <laughs> yeah yeah it, it feels good. um okay uh, so we all know that art speaks through the drawing and the colors what message do you want to give to the society with your artistic talents artistic talent yeah well, coming to that uh, art art enables you to see the world with a much uh, broader perspective i can say because uh, when you truly appreciate art or uh, when you practice art you don't see like uh, uh, you don't kind of discriminate in anything you find beauty in the strangest of things and make probably beauty in everything you don't say uh, <laughs> you can't make uh, possibly discriminate in people so uh, based on anything uh, based on race caste uh, anything you can't uh, you you see beauty in uh, in everything uh, usually when i sketch art uh, i uh, i have so much, uh, i do sketching i have so much time to think and it's like i uh, usually listen to podcasts or music but most of the time i don't want to do that i just think when i sketch uh, just <laughs> enjoying the sound of pencils scratching against the paper uh, uh, yeah so you find beauty in the strangest of things it, it, uh, so you you start appreciating things you start appreciating what you have in life uh, you don't Uh, regret not being rich or uh, uh, you don't envy people so uh, this is a main reason why you should be uh, uh, practicing art this is uh, what i want to convey to people uh, when coming to art okay. uh, what is the biggest advantage of portraying things with sketching according to you biggest advantage of uh, portraying things uh and sketching it's like uh as you know pictures a uh, picture speaks better than that better than words so uh, you can always illustrate something uh, any ideas you have you, you can like draw and uh, visually put that in people's mind it directly affects without taking much time you don't have to 
explain someone uh, like uh, you don't have to explain uh, it's it's different with modern arts and all <laughs> where everything is just explaining uh, and uh, through the artist perspective but uh, in illustrating it's uh, illustrating or sketching is not like that you you basically draw something uh, any ideas you have uh, in a sheet of paper and people just uh, can, can understand just by looking at it uh, for a moment and uh, the thing is uh, everyone has different perspectives so you can't uh, determine uh, how a person uh, interprets uh, interprets interprets a drawing, drawing but uh, it, it it depends on every individual how they how they perceive the message in one one drawing and uh, how they take uh, take it so uh, everyone has their unique perspectives and everyone learns something from a uh, given art form uh, which how, however they have been uh, getting art into their lives and, um, so that that, that is a, a advantage of putting things through sketching right yeah that that makes sense for me at least uh, so so many times when i see something i tend to understand better when compared to like reading about things so i think yeah it's really amazing that way um so what are your sketching styles and what forms of sketching styles do you want to explore uh my sketching styles right now is uh i i do uh, mainly i do pencil sketching and color pencil sketching in pencil sketching i do um, almost all types of it like uh, portrait portrait sketching i do uh, sceneries like landscapes and all and then uh, i do 3d art works as well and then uh, graphic designing designing like uh, logo designing and all for, uh, I have designed some logos for uh, cricket teams and all, uh, local cricket teams and all, and then uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much. Uh, and uh, uh, when it comes to exploring different kind in pencil sketching, uh, I do uh, portrait artwork, portraits, human portraits, and anatomy drawings, uh, designing, and then uh, I do uh, landscape sceneries, and then. Uh, yeah, uh, 3D artworks. Uh, I do all this as of now. And then uh, when it comes uh, art, I, I also do uh, painting, canvas paintings and all. Uh, and uh, canvas paintings in portraits, same portraits, landscapes. And I, I also design logos. Logos. I, I have designed logos from uh, uh, for some uh, local uh, cricket teams. And then. Uh, other forms of art that I want to explore are uh, like uh, animation. I'm interested in animation, and I'm also learning like uh, things like Blender and uh, uh, Photoshop and uh, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. I I'm learning that online, and then uh, I also want to enter into different. Uh, I look forward into enter entering uh, different ones as well, like uh, different forms of art like uh, cinematography also so i've been always fascinated by cinematography uh, i i look forward to doing that well good luck with that and wish you all the best <laughs> and i hope you can do it um how often do you sketch uh, so coming to this i i sketch every single day <laughs> uh, it's like uh, uh, but except the days when I absolutely can, I'm absolutely in no position to sketch. Like uh, I'm somewhere outside and I have, uh, I am not in a position position to sketch. But, but whenever I am available at home, I I try to sketch every single day, uh, whether it's a small sketch or completing a previous one. Uh, I, I do that. It, it's it's necessary. I feel it's necessary to. Uh, be become perfect at something you have to do it every day i guess uh, whenever you you can you uh, it's all about persistence and that this is what i want to advise uh, my juniors and uh, who are uh, like try, trying to uh, perfect them uh, themselves in the in this field I, I advise them this practice every single day whether it's uh, whether it's a big sketch or a small one 
just just do it and, and uh, it's not only in this art it's uh, it this this thing applies to every art you have to be persistent in something to get good at it and uh, that's the mantra i i, I follow uh, to be become successful at this yeah um, i totally agree with you who inspired you to start sketching uh, well no one basically inspired me to start sketching because i as i said i've been doing it uh, ever since my childhood and uh, uh, in a way i inspired myself uh, with my interest in this field uh, i've always been drawing and uh, but this thing of uh, persistence and uh, and the different materials i um, i have to use to create a good drawing i i needed to learn from uh, someone so uh, some online artists that i uh, always look up to uh, they inspired me to uh, like uh, do this the, the, the man mantra i spoke about about uh, about persistence and uh, doing it every day and all i i picked that up from uh, different online artists like uh, this krishti pack package and uh, on instagram there's uh, an artist called manojit krishnan and saurav joshi and uh, uh, there's this uh, the, he's a sculptor in uh, youtube there's bobby duke bobby duke arts is his channel and he's a sculptor and uh, and many many other uh, online artists i i picked Uh, a lot of good stuff from them uh, i uh, this thing of persistence manojit krishnan he, he posts a sketch every single day he just uh, uh, he sketches something small uh, the thing i said about said about uh, doing some uh, uh, something uh, small sketch or something every single day i i picked that from him he does this every single day he posts something or the other right i actually am uh, impressed with this person how he is so persistent in uh, doing something like this and uh, these things inspire me a lot and i i pick up a lot of good stuff from uh, yeah um, that they do sound very interesting and i hope everyone picks yeah. up your motivation after watching this <laughs> and after listening yeah Uh, so what are the opportunities of growth in the field of painting or sketching as a full time profession as a full time profession it, it, it actually depends because uh, 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 for me in the beginning it was not like it, it takes time to build a career in this uh, in this field uh, when you uh, uh, get something mainstream like you work from a, for a company you uh, you can uh, you can design stuff you when you do, uh, do a course I, i'll uh, i'll talk about this in the in a while uh, when you do a course in uh, in this stuff you can uh, you can get a job in uh, companies where uh, they pay you for uh, designing stuff designing models for their products and all uh, that that's a great opportunity and you can uh, be a freelancer like me also so uh, that 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 is great actually being a freelancer it takes time to build up this career because uh, people have to know about you they they have to uh, be confident that uh, you can create a good artwork from the, for them uh, based on their requirements and uh, uh, apart from being a freelancer you can be uh, yeah a teacher you, you can uh, be an art professor uh, there's a lot of demand for that uh, especially when you do a certification course you can uh, you can get yourself into a big, big institution where uh, you you can get paid an uh, an animator maybe uh, uh, when you are good at painting uh, it's uh, it's not difficult for you to uh, learn graphic designing also uh, like uh, a- animation stuff you can pick that up uh, you can learn that very quick so uh, animation has a lot of potential uh, it's actually i think it's actually the future so uh, being an animator can uh, uh, be a good uh, a uh, good way to go forward forward in this field uh, so that that's uh, pretty much and th- there's many more opportunities to explore 
uh, this is pretty much what I have learned, what I have, I, uh, I'm doing through uh, this. Right. What are the different courses a person can study in, like when they want to pursue a career in art? Yeah, so there are there are different courses uh, a person can take up to pursue a career in art. Uh, like uh, I wish actually I wish someone had told me this uh, when I uh, when I wanted to start a career in art because um, uh, there are different courses like a, a batch, a BFA is a bachelor in fine arts and uh, a di there's diploma courses also and then. Uh, uh, there, there are pretty much many courses that I'm. I'm not the perfect person because I have, I haven't done a done a course in this. But one thing I can tell you is, uh, many people ask me whether it is absolutely necessary to do this courses uh, to take up an uh, art career. Uh, I, I can say this that well, you can learn almost every art, uh, uh, aspect of art on your own. But the thing is, when you do a course, they teach you shortcuts to learn this. The something you can learn on your own in six months, they can train you to do that in two months. So th th this is the main advantage of taking an uh, art course, uh, of doing an uh, course, course in art. This is the main thing. You can learn something pretty much very quickly than learning it on your own. What I have learned through this years, maybe. Uh, I've drawn. I've been. I said. Uh, I've been drawing from childhood. So what ha I have learned, if you take uh, take up a uh, course in art uh, after after you do your tenth standard or your uh, or your PUC, you can uh, after your tenth standard, you can um, like learn all that in five years. You can be perfect in uh, sketching. You can do realistic sketches. You can do art realism like. Uh, perfectly and and the, the main advantage of the uh, this is you get a certificate and uh, you can get placed in companies uh, uh, for uh, for this talent that uh, you acquired uh, so uh, this does it yeah i really hope your message reaches a lot of people because all the upcoming mm -hmm. artists all the young and everyone who's motivated in doing this i really hope all of like this reaches a lot of people i think it'll help a lot of people like yes. you want it to so what mm -hmm. kind of sketches do you draw at your current job at my current job that is freelancing as an artist i i do this uh i i do human portraits i i get uh, orders for uh, orders for drawing uh, sketches for like uh, uh, if it's someone's birthday for birthday gifts and uh, anniversary gifts and all uh, i get they mainly the portrait sketching uh, in pencil sketches and uh, I, I do color pencils. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so these were the questions that I had for you and it was really great talking to you. I hope, you know, your passion in art reaches everyone who are, you know, looking for their motivation to do all of this. So thank you so much for joining us today and sharing all of your experiences. It has been great. Thank you so much for that, and I hope. Thank you so much. It's 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 been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, I hope this message reaches everyone. I I hope I could inspire someone at least uh, yeah. through my uh, experience. Uh, what I, something I have learned through my experiences uh, from uh, from my, <laughs> my little experience. What I have learned. I hope it reaches someone. Someone who is. Uh, who is looking up to me, someone who wants to take up a uh, career in art, I hope I, I was able to inspire them to this one. Yeah. Thank you for giving me this opportunity.